About a year ago, my friend Preston called me up and challenged me to a race. He said, we should see who can be the first to get to a thousand subscribers and the loser has to do the Waffle House Challenge. And if you don't know, the Waffle House Challenge involves spending 24 hours inside a Waffle House and for every waffle that you eat, you can take an hour off of your time. And despite Preston being pretty confident, we'll just say that the race did not go his way. So finally, it's time to pay the piper. On this episode of the Studio Review, we're completing the Waffle House Challenge. The plan was for me to go down to North Carolina and personally escort Preston to his waffle Waffle prison. But the more I thought about it, something just didn't sit right with me with just Preston doing the challenge. I didn't feel bad about him doing it by himself. That wasn't the issue. I just felt like I'd be missing out on an opportunity to prove myself in yet another eating challenge. So as I got in the car to head down there, an idea started bouncing around in my head. I wanted to see if it would be possible to set the world record for the fastest time to complete the Waffle House challenge. From what I can find, there are a few highly publicized attempts at the Waffle House challenge, and the times don't seem that crazy to me. One dude ate nine waffles, which meant that he spent 15 hours there, and another guy just ate 6.75 waffles. So based on those numbers, I feel like I could get down there and set the first world record for the Waffle House Challenge before someone like Matt Stoney or Joey Chestnut gets in on it. As a side note, I looked that up too, and Joey Chestnut can put away like 30 waffles in 10 minutes, which in the context of this challenge would mean he could just go home immediately. I was fairly confident that I could eat 10 to pass the other guy, but my stretch goal was to eat 12 waffles. And just so everybody's on the same page here, these aren't like Eggo toaster waffles. These are plate size, half inch thick, 410 10 calorie waffles. I think when you need to eat a lot, people a lot of times think that you shouldn't eat right before or maybe even the day before. And from what I understand, that is a, a big mistake. Pretty sure not eating like kind of shrinks your stomach. So I'm keeping that stomach big, trying to fit 10 waffles in there. Maybe 12, I don't know. Here's the strategy. I think I'm gonna knock off two waffles right off the bat, just two knock two hours off the clock, and then wait, maybe a full hour even, I don't know. Even if I feel like I could eat more, I think patience is gonna be the key here. The last thing you want is to get too full too fast and then just sit there feeling terrible for the rest of the time. We headed over to Waffle House and our spirits and our confidence were high. I'm going two, two waffles right off the bat, maybe three. I might just go, I might say as much as I can get down in the beginning. In your mind, no doubt, you're sleeping in your bed tonight. Yeah. Oh, I... Yes. I'm thinking I'm home by midnight. Ooh, okay. I'm not, we're not gonna enjoy this. It'll just be... We just, we just gotta go all in on it. We weren't 100% sure they would let us stay there for 24 hours straight, so our plan would be to head to another Waffle House five minutes away if we got kicked out. It was also super crowded when we got there, and someone had just paid for like 10 songs on the jukebox, so it was really hard to hear. It's so loud in here. <laughs> okay, I don't think we knew that waffles were $4 each. That is pretty steep. How much, what's the math on that? 12 times 4. 48. A piece. $48. The way I saw it, I typically eat three meals a day, and so I was gonna try to break my waffles down into three groups or three meals. Four waffles at each meal, eaten over the course of two hours with three hour breaks in between. And if all goes according to plan, I would be out of there by 10.30 p.m. Preston, I think, is gonna try to do a waffle an hour, uh, which could be the better strategy. I don't know, we'll kind of see how it plays out. All right, first four waffles, two for me, two for Preston. It begins. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> going. I think this is a mistake. I think he's going too fast. <laughs> I've already I've gone too far. Slow slow is fast. <laughs> fast is smooth. What is the what is the phrase? Uh -huh. I don't know. Slow slow is better. Fast fast is smooth. Slow is fast. Fast is smooth, slow is slow is smooth, fast. You know what I mean. <laughs> Just like I planned, I got two waffles down right off the bat. All right, uh, two waffles down, about an hour in. This is the amount of food and the amount of time that under normal circumstances you would leave a restaurant. But uh, you know, we're in it for the long haul. I do feel good, I feel like I could eat more, but I really, really want to exhibit some self-control, pace myself, I always, start things too fast and I'm not able to finish. Marathons, fastest mile on crutches. I start out way too confident. So today is gonna to be different. I'm gonna start slower than I need to. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. Okay, between me and you, I don't think Preston's gonna gonna get that many waffles down. He, uh, he had trouble with those first two, so not looking good. 
Not feeling too good? Dude, I I like hit, I hit the wall pretty hard. This is bad. <laughs> like I <laughs> With how crowded it was, we realized pretty quickly that by staying in one booth, we'd be preventing the wait staff for that booth from getting other paying customers. So we decided to switch tables after every round of waffles. Around 11.45 a.m., I ordered two more waffles. Three down. I'm leaving by at least 7.30 a.m. now. You know, I have lunch tomorrow. <laughs> One of the most entertaining things was that Preston was not doing well. I'm gonna want to lay down, but I know I can't. He had doused his waffles with syrup and then somehow hit a wall after like two and a half waffles. So part of his third waffle and all of his fourth waffle were just sitting there getting more and more soggy and looking less and less appealing. The wall is much harder and higher than I thought it was. I could throw up any I'm not kidding. I'm not saying I really think I would throw up today. So right now I'm pretty good. There's nothing there for you to prove. Oh, what you've done. True. There's no going home though. <laughs> this is home. Should have known better, man. Never eat soggy waffles. Everybody knows that. Preston's in the bathroom. Um, I'm four waffles in right now, so I can get out of here by at least 6:30 a.m. I am feeling pretty good. Like I am not worried yet. I don't feel full. I don't feel sick. But again. To keep to my strategy, I am not gonna rush it, okay? I'm gonna wait maybe another hour or two before uh, starting my, my lunch portion of waffles here. I wanna just give my body time to digest. I wanna give my mind time to reset. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a little while before having some more waffles here. I'm, I'm not doing well. <laughs> Was there a discussion on if waffles that come up now reverse the count? No, no way. We have not no discussed way. it. There's no way that could be a rule, dude. I wasn't planning on eating more waffles for a while, but there was a mix-up and we got served an extra waffle, so I went ahead and downed it for waffle number five. What? Did you, you just devour that? that? Did you throw that over the... <laughs> Is it on the floor? That went so oh bad. Oh my goodness. Just to be clear here, I was already at the recommended average caloric intake on most nutrition labels. Okay, uh, we just moved to our third table. I'm tempted to order some more waffles, but <clears throat> we've only been here for for four hours now, so I think, you know, in the spirit of pacing myself, I'm gonna try to, to wait a little while. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good right now. All right, it's currently about 4.30, so we've been here for almost six hours at this point. I've still only eaten five waffles, but that's because I'm deliberately trying to take it slow. I'm gonna try to eat two right now to put me up to seven, and then we'll see how I'm feeling after that. This is, I'm getting my confidence back here. This is allowing me to gain my confidence back. The syrup and butter. That's what doing me in. You're just eating toast right now. Yeah, it's a stream, just toast. It's waffle toast. <laughs> All right, I just finished waffle number six. I'm feeling pretty confident, but if you've ever run a marathon, you know that the hardest part comes like 80 to 90% of the way through. So I think- Never run a marathon. I think waffles number like nine, 10, 11 are gonna be the hardest ones. Six and seven, no problem. Right there. That's seven. That's seven, ladies and gentlemen. That's unbelievable. Feeling good. What's your next move? I think I might go order eight and nine. <laughs> you, like you can actually you can eat two more right now. I think I can do two more and then I'll, I'll take a break, probably a couple hours, play oh, some more Mario Kart. My God. Think about my life choices. <laughs> Waffle number eight went down without a hitch, but waffle number nine started to feel particularly heavy. I'm starting to not feel good. Really? Oh no. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for a break. Um, I'm gonna try to finish this guy. I think eight might be like <laughs> a good limit on a normal day. Today's not a normal day, so we're gonna keep pushing. My stomach started feeling really, really full, and I started to get worried. I powered through, but I knew that if I kept feeling that way, there was no way I was gonna be able to eat three more waffles. 
Clean play club, baby. That's nine. <laughs> We're back in the clean play club. Unbelievable. I'm definitely starting to feel really, really full. So the good news is uh, I'm ahead of schedule. I can take a long break before eating my next waffle. I think I'm definitely gonna be able to get 10, which was kind of the, the lowest number in my head that I wanted to get. I was really hoping for 12. At this point, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get there, but we'll see how I'm feeling in a few hours. We switched to a fourth table and Preston's wife Bailey and daughter Denver came to visit. Guys, how we doing over here? We're killing it. We've eaten almost half a waffle. Well, she has. I had something else, but. Denver, you could only stay for 23 and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're funny. Say, Dad, come sleep at our house tonight. <laughs> they come to sleep. I want to. All right, just ordered a coffee to get some caffeine, a little energy in the system here, and maybe a little movement in the digestive system. So win-win. Ordered waffle number 10. Here we go. By this point, I had abandoned the butter and syrup and was just eating plain waffles. Not as bad as you might think. And yeah, for those wondering, we did consider dipping them in water, hot dog eating contest style. And no, it was not particularly helpful. 10 down, current departure time, 12.30 a.m. Hoping to get that down another two hours. I'm gonna take my time though. Um, that's about an hour from now, so I've got about an hour to eat two more waffles. We'll see how it goes. I moved on to waffle number 11 and was still feeling good. It's waffle number 11. This is waffle number seven. That was waffle number 11. By that point, my time elapsed and my waffles eaten had already maxed out, meaning that since I had already passed the 11 hour mark, eating a 13th waffle wouldn't be worth it. At a certain point, the time runs out, you know what I mean? Like, if we get past 10.30, I'm not gonna eat another one because it won't yeah, do yeah, me yeah. anything, right? Oh yeah, you're saying eventually the clock catches up. Around 9.55 p.m., I started on my 12th and final waffle. Yeah, Thank you, you. Oh, no, appreciate yeah. that. Waffle number 12, right here, here we go. There it was, my ticket out of there. I was done. <laughs> 4,920 calories. Unfortunately, Preston had only eaten seven waffles, so if he didn't finish anymore, he'd have to stay there till 3.30 a.m. If I hadn't gone so hard on the sugar this morning, who knows where we could have been right now. I'm leaving, I'm heading out. See ya. Later. Later. As I was leaving, I told Preston not to take too long because I was worried that his family might forget about him. And you guys, they did. Since Preston clearly wasn't gonna be back anytime soon, I thought it was the least I could do to step in and help his family out while he was gone. I have a present for you. I'm working on a clean play club right now. Oh yeah? It's a present. It's a present. Oh, this is a great raffle Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> and when did you take this? <laughs> How in the world? <laughs> what is this? Did you just take this? <laughs> Family Christmas How do you card. Have my family. <laughs> You've been at the Waffle House for too long. <laughs> Preston ended up finishing nine waffles and getting out of there at 1:30 a.m. So 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 Couldn't have done without you guys. Thank you. We'll see you guys soon. Dude, how are you? Hey, it's good well to see done. you. Glad you're free. How are we feeling? I I am stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, shocked I made it this far though, so I'm, I'm bumped that I'm even here. I want to encourage you to go subscribe to Preston, check out his channel, a ton of stuff that makes me feel uh, like I want to go out and live life to the full, and you can watch this whole challenge from his perspective. Any final thoughts? 
First one to 100,000 spends a month in the Mall of America. <laughs> All right, we'll talk about that. But for now, I'm going to send it back to the desk. Hey, I just want to express my gratitude to you guys because I was able to reach the 1,000 subscriber mark because of you, the people that are subscribed to this channel. I have this dream of becoming a full-time content creator one day, and doing this challenge with Preston felt like a celebration of being one step closer to making that dream a reality. And I hope it was fun for you guys to get to watch and celebrate that milestone with us. Now that the race to 1,000 is over, my next goal is to become the top Sam Reed on YouTube. YouTube, but there's this Australian actor that's dominating the search results. So you can help me defeat him by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, or commenting below with your favorite item on the Waffle House menu. But if I could leave you with anything, it would be to go out there and live your dreams, make memories with your friends, and be kind to people in the food service industry. And maybe most importantly, just remember that even when it doesn't feel like it, it's going to be okay. I'll see you soon.